Pull her up. After the release of Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, discussions about a possible Indiana Jones 6 are in full swing, and we've got all the latest updates for you. Stay tuned until the end, where we'll explore how Indiana Jones could introduce an intensely psychological man as the villain in the sixth film, inspired by the game. The big question on everyone's mind is whether Indiana Jones is really done with his adventuring days. According to James Mangold, the director of Dial of Destiny, the answer is no. While Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny might show Professor Jones retiring from teaching, it doesn't mean he's finished with his adventures. James Mangold explained that although Indiana Jones might retire from his teaching career in Dial of Destiny, it doesn't mean he's finished with adventures altogether. Mangold emphasized that Indiana Jones will always have a passion for exploration and discovery. He suggested that while Indiana might not engage in grand battles, like fighting Nazis through time portals, he could still enjoy smaller-scale adventures, such as archaeological digs or road trips with Marion. Essentially, Mangold believes that Indiana Jones will remain a lifelong learner and explorer even in retirement. Here is what Mangold told Entertainment Weekly, I don't think he'll ever stop digging, and when he takes the hat off the clothesline, I think it's because, first of all, you shouldn't put hats on clotheslines. And second of all, no, I don't think he's done. I think that an ending doesn't mean that the characters never move again in their lives. It just means that you feel that you've entered a state of grace with their story. I think he'll wake up tomorrow and want to do something. But whether he's going into battling Nazis through time portals again, I don't think so. But I could really imagine him and Marion going on a road trip to some Inca dig or to some dig in Montana or North Dakota and renting a cabin and I could see him really enjoying his life as a retired archaeologist. He retires as a teacher in Dial of Destiny, but I don't think he will retire from being an obsessive learner, thinker about the past and the future, and science and mankind. I think that the second he stops thinking about that, I think it's game over. That's a fitting description of Indiana Jones since he's always been a teacher first and an adventurer second. He has a deep passion for learning about the past, and often finds himself caught up in conflicts involving historical artifacts. Now that he's retired from teaching, he would have more time to focus on hands-on learning at dig sites rather than presenting old discoveries to students. Harrison Ford is saying goodbye to Indiana Jones with a big finale. He's been clear about not wanting to be Han Solo or Indiana Jones forever. He wanted both characters to have memorable endings on screen. While he was okay with Han Solo meeting his end in Star Wars, he didn't want that for Indy. Instead, he wanted to give him a grand send-off, and he believes he's achieved that with Dial of Destiny. Ford shared with Total Film that this is the final chapter for him as Indiana Jones. After 40 years of amazing adventures crafted by Spielberg and Lucas, he's thrilled to conclude it on a high note. If Disney decides to keep the Indiana Jones adventures going, it seems they'll have to do it without Harrison Ford leading the charge. Ford has made it crystal clear that he's taken Indy to the finale he wanted. So if there's an Indiana Jones 6 in the cards, it'll have to venture into new territory without Ford at the helm. As for the cast of Indiana Jones 6, for it to happen without Harrison Ford reprising his role as the titular character, it would need to explore new avenues. If it continued the story from the fifth film, it would likely require most of the cast to return. Phoebe Waller-Bridge, who portrays Indiana Jones' goddaughter, Helena Shaw, seems like a probable choice for a returning character. Additionally, the sixth installment might reintroduce some classic Indiana Jones villains, like Mads Mikkelsen's Voller or Kate Blanchett's Irina Spalko, considering death isn't always the end in this franchise. In the Indiana Jones universe, resurrection isn't unheard of, especially with the involvement of mystical artifacts. However, not all deceased characters are destined for a comeback in Indiana Jones 6. Some need to stay in the afterlife. Take Mutt, for instance, Indiana and Karen's son portrayed by Shia LaBeouf. Given his character's reception in Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, where he was widely disliked, and his demise in Vietnam, it's improbable that he would make a return. His death added complexity to Indiana Jones as a character, and it's likely best left that way. Now comes the question of, what could the sequel be about? In the tradition of every Indiana Jones film, the plot of a potential Indiana Jones 6 would likely revolve around a standalone adventure, focusing on the pursuit of a mystical artifact to prevent it from falling into the wrong hands. With Harrison Ford opting out of reprising the role for this installment, 
the torch would need to be passed to a new character capable of upholding Indy's legacy. Enter Helena Shaw, a character who could potentially fill this role. She embodies a fresh generation of adventurers while still being tied to Indiana Jones and his legendary exploits. In Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, Helena demonstrates enough skill and resolve to logically step into the spotlight. This shift could allow her to confront the same adversaries her godfather once faced. It's a natural progression, one that could even pave the way for her own standalone adventures or spin-off films down the line. There's another intriguing possibility for Indiana Jones 6, exploring the stories of various supporting characters from the franchise. With advancements in de-aging technology, the timeline for the sequel isn't limited. It could delve into events from the past, allowing Harrison Ford to make occasional appearances through de-aging effects. The possibilities are vast and varied. Disney could take the story in numerous directions, ensuring a seamless continuation of the Indiana Jones saga into the future. Now, let's talk about why Indiana Jones and the Great Circle's villain is best choice for the upcoming Indiana movie. The upcoming video game Indiana Jones and the Great Circle is set to throw the adventurous archaeologist into yet another dangerous quest, pitting him against formidable adversaries. Among these foes is Emmerich Voss, a German antagonist closely aligned with the Nazi forces, despite his lack of a military uniform. The game's trailer, available on the Xbox YouTube channel, features a scene where Voss confronts Indiana Jones in the desert, taunting him with a villainous speech before a physical altercation ensues. Voss threatens to leave Indy dead and forgotten in the sands of Africa, setting the stage for an intense showdown. Developed by Machine Games, known for their Wolfenstein series exploring an alternate history with Nazi rule, Indiana Jones and the Great Circle maintains the franchise's tradition of confronting the protagonist with treacherous enemies, this time immersing players in the perilous world of 1930s Africa. In Indiana Jones and the Great Circle, the antagonist Emmerich Voss takes on a more psychological role as the primary villain. According to creative director Axel Torvenius, Voss is portrayed as an intensely psychological man who is adept at manipulating the human mind. This intellectual edge distinguishes him from being merely a physical threat, aligning him with the tradition of great Indiana Jones villains who are more than just brute force. As the game unfolds, it remains to be seen whether Voss's downfall will stem from underestimating Indiana, the influence of mystical forces, or a combination of both factors. However, one thing is certain, Voss's ultimate demise is inevitable in the world of Bethesda's Indiana Jones game. Indiana Jones and the Great Circle seems poised to deliver an authentic Indiana Jones adventure with Emmerich Voss playing a crucial role in capturing that essence. Introducing Voss as the villain in the movies could significantly enhance the upcoming sixth installment, in my opinion. Well, that's it. For now, make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us. Thank you so much for watching our video today and we will see you at the next video.